Alright, aka Panners, we're talking Adam Driver, Kylo Ren, Star Wars, what could have been, and the desperation of the Star Wars commentary community. That's right, they made a mountain out of a molehill. Let's get into it. Alright guys, Peter A. DeLuca here, welcome back to the channel, I am aka Pad69, and you guys know it, say it with me, known through Philadelphia, PA, Europe, and the vast multiverse as your eclectic one. Right here, like as, as I've been talking to you, Adam Driver made these comments, and they're throwaway comments. But the entire Star Wars community wanted to act like this was a major W. Because, see, he just said, hey, at one time, uh, Kylo Ren was going harder into the dark side. And then everyone goes, oh my god, they destroyed it with wokeness. Oh my god. People, this is a comment. This is most likely also parts of conversations. Broad conversations. Long conversations. Conversations with 20, 30, maybe even 100 people in the room about what a $200 million, $250 million production looks like. Guys, when you sit down and you talk story, you talk every little crevice, every little angle. If you go through any of the art of Force Awakens, Rise of Skywalker, The Last Jedi, and you go through those Books. You see the concept artwork where they are just throwing crap to the wall to see what sticks. Guys, this is not like a win. This is not uh, a definition that they purposely change things. We know a lot about the detailed uh, flow between the, the Last Jedi and the Rise of Sk Skywalker. Well documented cases of J.J. Of Abrams stepping in the time frame. Uh, the deadline's shrinking like this. You have to get the production going. We don't have solidified story elements. We only have, like, agreed upon set pieces. And then it's all systems are go, and you have to meet the deadline. You have to... The movie needs to come out. And a lot of times... See, here's the crazy thing. Everything that everyone's, like, kind of uh, commented on about... Oh, like, the, the, you can't make movies like this. You, this is, don't they, don't they know better? It's coulda, woulda, shoulda, shoulda. It's Monday morning, Tuesday morning quarterbacking. It's, it's backseat driver-ing. Guys, they talk about everything during some of these production meetings. They go through every single possible crevice of a story position of an angle. And a lot of times, these people do amazing things with very tight deadlines. Given, I get it, we don't like Rise of Skywalker, but what J.J. Abrams did in that movie, with the amount of time he had to do it in, with replacing a existing director slash script, it is a amazing feat. But for some reason, people want to act like that movie is just garbage, it's worthless, I get it, we don't like the guts of the movie, but the production itself is to be admired, I'm sorry. Adam Driver just making an offhanded comment means nothing towards the culture war. It's just something that came up during a production meeting, one or two. It is not this strike against wokeness, not a strike for us on the culture war. It's a nothing burger. It's amazing to me that so many of these, you know, people on our side of the world will say, reported this as a positive, as a, mm, like, a, as a rallying call. No, 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 no. People, Kathleen Kennedy's in power no matter what. How many false reports have we gotten that Kathleen Kennedy is this and that, that? It is laughable. Guys, this is just the way it's going to be. I keep saying it. It's going to be like this for a while. Uh, get used to it. Put all of your time and money into new things that you love. Like... Dropping tonight, Rebel Moon, let's go.